Well, a very good morning to you all. I hope you've had a lovely Easter. I worked it all. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, uh, our last job today is um, uh, today is Tuesday morning after the fun and frivolity of the bank holiday. Tuesday morning, we've tipped one up in Chelmsford. Sorry about that. Uh, looks like I've got some overheating issues with the uh, camera this morning. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I tipped in uh, Chelmsford and we're being sent across to one of our customers over in Belgium to uh, load or swap trailers, whatever's available. So I shall take you with me on the journey. Here we are then, dropping down the uh, A249 towards the M20. Uh, every so often you get nice views of the Kent landscape, countryside, the Garden of England as it's known. You can't see much of it I'm afraid because of the trees on your left hand side. But, uh, At the roundabout, take the first exit. That's a right climb up that, uh, up that bank in there. De I think it's Detlin, Bla Detlin Bank. years ago with uh, loaded, tra loaded flat trailers when I was working for John Raymond Transport in Bridgend, South Wales, uh, up and down that route with the loaded trailers. Anyway, we're, uh, we're just a couple of minutes off the M20, so I'm going to drop onto the M20, run down to stop 24 and get some fuel. I've only got 10% left. I was going to load back up at um, City Mall this morning and then get some at uh, at the services at Cobham. Uh, at the I did try, about, take the first exit I did to N20. try and get some yesterday, uh, but forgot that my fuel card ran out on the 31st of March, or one of one of the fuel cards that we carry um, ran out on the 31st of March, and I haven't been back to the yard to get my to pick my new one up. But anyway, I have a, a shell card uh, and uh, uh, another one, an EDC card. So I'll just call it um, stop 24. Uh, top up there with fuel. I'll probably just do the big tank and then I know I've got enough to get me out and back. Um, I'm all right for AdBlue at the moment and AdBlue at Shell is costing us I think the I think the boss sent the message saying it was something like two pound fifty, um, and it costs us thirty two pence in the yard. So um, obviously he wants us to fill up in the yard wherever possible, which which I would do anyway. But um, I've got a thousand miles worth of adblue left, so I have plenty of adblue. So as I say, I'll probably top up the big tank, which is on the opposite side, uh, because stop twenty four don't have pubs that reach both sides. I'll also grab myself a coffee. Uh, which I do out of habit, more than anything. <laughs> uh, and if my friend is on, I'll see if I can get a sausage roll or something for a bite to eat. And that'll do me then till this evening. Continue on M20. Depending on how quick I turn round, I, I don't think I'll make Ashford. Uh, I, I may do, but it, as I say, it depends on the turn round. Um, if not, I'll probably make C4T, but I don't even know if my trailer's loading today or tomorrow or there's pre-loaded one or where it's going, when it's for delivery or anything. So until I get that information, I won't exactly know, but uh, you'll know when I do. And we can work out from there what we're going to do time-wise and stopover-wise. Because if I am stopping at Ashford, then I'll need to book it ASAP, and then it's done. Beautiful day. Well, my reload details have just come through. Uh, as I say, today is Tuesday, and I've got a load for Haywood or Haydock. I can't. Hey, yeah, one of them. I think it's Haywood uh, for eight o'clock. 
Thursday morning, which is absolutely perfect for me because uh, it's my wife's birthday today and my daughter was trying to arrange a meal for tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to give her a bell in a minute and um, what I'll do is uh, load it today, run me, run me time to wherever's convenient and then travel up to Yorkshire tomorrow, park up, I can go for the meal tomorrow night and still tip my load 8 o'clock Thursday morning. Perfect. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's worked out well. Anyway, next stop, stop 24. Here we are then, at the front of the train, just waiting for the go-ahead to uh, pull off. There we go. Good to go. There's a vamoose. Uh, we've already checked our custom status. There's the picture, um, which is green, which is good. So we've now just got the um, quick nip up to Belgium. Uh, should be about just over an hour and a half, maybe hour and 40 minutes uh, up there. Hopefully our trail will be loaded, ready, paperwork done, all the rest of it. We can swap that over and uh, get back to either Calais or if we have a really good run, work times out, um, maybe get back across and uh, get up to Ashford for the evening. I'm not really wanting to break into um, a 15 hour day to be honest, because I've got plenty of time to do what I need to do. Um, and there's no point in, as I say, breaking into a 15 hour day and a nine hour rest. Because um, I've already used one last night, uh, which will only leave me two for the week. And I've no idea what they'll have me doing. So it's always handy to keep a couple up your Nick a leg. So, um, yeah. What, what I'll do is, if I can do it in a 13, I'll I'll do whatever in a 13. So that'll either be Calais. Well, I think it'll be Calais, realistically. Um, if I do go a minute over a 13, that's me into a 15. So in that case, then I'll probably head to uh, Ashford. But we'll have to see how everything goes. So bear with, don't you know? As we head to Belgique. Nice to be able to get straight through here without any civet. <coughs> Sorry, that's me going over the white lines and it picking up the uh, the fact that I'm doing that without indicating. There we are, out onto the French roads, heading for Belgium. Catch you in a bit. Welcome back. Uh, we've been up to our customer in Belgium. We're still in Belgium. We've been up there, swapped the trailer, uh, quick sharp, uh, and we're on our way to Calais back to the truck stop which hopefully I can make there's, there's literally minutes in it minutes in it um, to make it in a 13 hour day uh, if I if I don't I'm, I'm gonna be over by literally sort of 
two or three minutes but um, it, that will unfortunately come towards a 15 and therefore constitute one of my nine hour rests being used up. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fingers crossed and, uh, and everything crossed to make it within a, a 13 hour day. The road looks okay so far, it shouldn't be too busy going in, it may get a bit busier uh, Dunkirk and then into um, in towards Calais but uh, yeah hopefully we'll be all right so crazily I'm watching the sat nav tick down the miles here I've got seven miles to go and I've got five minutes left on a 13 hour day so I'm literally going to be three or four minutes probably five minutes over by the time I get parked up in my actual slot. But that then means that I've lost a whole nine hour rest opportunity because it's it's only five past five uh, UK time. So, you know, I, I'm, not, I, I'm gonna be parked up at quarter past five, uh, which, is, which is five minutes after my 13 hour shift um, and I'm not starting at 2 o'clock in the morning because there's no need so I, I, you know I wanted to get done and packed up and, and take 11 off but the uh, well the, the rules say that it won't count it'll, uh, it'll be classed as a 9 so it'll tick one off my um, dashboard so oh sorry Bouncing joint to the bridge. Um, so yeah, that, that means I'm I'm going to lose one for the sake of five minutes, which is madness, really. I had this discussion with uh, Captain Sloan the other day. You know, on a weekend, if you're returning back to base, you can do this hour over or whatever it is. I, I can't remember the exact rules, so forgive me. I'm, I'm remembering off the top of my head, not quoting legalities here. But you can do this additional driving period that suddenly at the end of a uh, at the end of a week where you've already maxed everything out possibly or potentially maxed everything out you can suddenly drive an extra hour because you're heading home to rest yet the fact that i go over by five minutes tonight but actually take an 11 hour rest won't count it's crazy it's, it's just bureaucracy gone mad but it is what it is, the rules are there for uh, for us to obey and that's, that's what we'll have to do so unfortunately for the sake of five minutes I'm going to lose uh, one of my nights this week uh, of which I can do three for those uninitiated um, it's no good me going into Calais before anybody says why didn't you go to Calais because I'd only have another two hours on my spread over in which to get into Calais, which is 15, 20 minutes, get through the passport control, get through the checks, get onto the train, get off the other side, and get up to Ashford, if I were to park in Ashford. So 20 minutes into Calais, if the train was there waiting for me, 40 minutes, that's an hour. Off the other side, half an hour up to Ashford say, so that's an hour and a half. I've only got two hours in total. Um, and the train, the train certainly isn't gonna be there waiting for me, that's for sure. So uh, before anybody asks, that's why I didn't go into Calais. Um, I don't wanna stop at the village, because there's nothing there. Uh, at least here I can have a shower, shave and a meal which is my intention so uh, yeah just annoying really but there we are rant over good morning from a wet and dreary Calais uh, as you can see one of ours pulled in last night um, I guess he was tired because he, he went straight to bed. I think he's just had nine off. 
um, and I've just come to pull out and here he is again in front in front of me so uh, I think it's me hi in one of the left hook of the eight <laughs> so we'll run up to the train great start so matey boy at um, C4T that we were not our driver that we were behind but the both of us were behind another guy who hadn't been and paid so he had to get his ticket go across to the other side of the building pay come back then get out so that caused a delay there and uh, for some reason they've singled me out of um, half a dozen trucks to go into the scanner this morning I suppose the good thing is you can get your GMR and MRN scanned at the same time but um, I'm sure they they sort of uh, single out British trucks, but that could be a bit um, controversial, couldn't it? Anyway, in we go in a minute. I don't know if they're using both, that's why I've pulled over to this side. You can see there's another shed there on the right hand side, look. But um, yeah, like I said, I don't know if they're using both or just the one. If they are using two, I can pull forward. We'll see in a minute when the doors go up. We're only using one and probably doing one truck at a time. No, tell a light. I'm doing two. Yeah, all right. Wants me to hurry up now. It's your problem, I'm here, mate. Turn your fridge on. So I said, my fridge is on. He said, no, no, it's off. I said, well, you must have turned it off. No, no, when you came in, it was off. I said, no, it wasn't. When I came in, it was on. I heard it on when I was outside and I checked it eight minutes ago when I left uh, uh, C4T. Oh, one moment. So he asks his colleague, Oh yeah, he turned it off. Anyway, it's on now. It's all that matters. I'm gonna have to turn it off again in five minutes anyway when I get on the train. Choo -choo. Another bit of booking in here. Queue's not too bad the other side as you can see. Okay, press the flag. Are you carrying dangerous goods? No. Are you driving a fridge? Yes. Are you carrying animal fats? No. How many is in the car? One. Validate. Approve. 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 Ticket ticket. Ticket ticket. Ticket ticket. <laughs> there we are. Green light. Stick the ticket to one side. Next is passport control. French side. Again, boys, yeah, yeah. So, this is up to the French uh, police passport control. You need a helper to come up and uh, get your passport. Should we take a minute? Then we go up to the uh, English passport control, which is up there where you see the trucks queuing in the distance. The one coming from the right of the screen there has been through another scanner. Uh, over to the right, you can just see it. Okay, that's the... 
inside Dent. Doesn't look like there's anybody queuing up there for the English. And English side. Morning. Yes, yes. Thank you. Itself, and these will tell me which lane I need to queue in for the next uh, train. So, as you can see in the little booth, barely somebody will give me a sign. Thank you. Number four, lane four. So we're going up to lane four, which is over yonder. As you can see, one to six. And then lane four should be lit up in green, which it is. Up there, look. So we're going to lane four. There's not many trucks here, that's good. Bit of luck. We'll be on the train within half an hour. As far as you can go up the queue, they'll bring the dogs down and sniff around the track. And uh, when they're ready, they will then call you forward and load you onto the train. So for now, ciao. Coffee time. Looks like the guys here have got some new vests. Look, they look like Trons out of that film. Walking up, uh, all lit up. You see them? See the truck there on the left, already in the train. 
is either the first to load on the back rake um, but no that's that's them coming off by the looks of it. Hopefully, for the time of day, it's 
just minutes off one o'clock. Um, we should be okay. Be in the right lane. And we can have a good run through to West Yorkshire.